Red is in a unique position to actually sell this data. So what they right. do is, obviously, they license it. Right. Uh, to big parties, LLMs, you know, I think Google struck a deal, right, with these mm -hmm. guys, or was it OpenAI? Uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars, right. uh, sometimes close to hundreds of million. Mm, I yeah. think they have 200 million of contract revenue so far. Mm. And this year, they're going to book uh, 60 of them. So roughly, if you calculate that, that's like a three-year term on average. Yeah. Right? My only thing about this whole thing is, mm. Hey, hey guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Episode I think, five. I think this I'm, is good. I'm just keeping track. All right. Keeping track. Okay. All right. Perfect. We are all grinded. All grinded. We are in desperate need of caffeine oh, this man. morning. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. So. Yeah. That's oh. a bit earlier than we're usually used to because Nolan had a really uh, important meeting to go to. Yeah, that, which uh, got canceled. Yeah, yeah. Just now. <laughs> yeah, it just got canceled. So <laughs> now we're just enjoying each other's presence at 7 a.m. Um, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely the first person I want to see <laughs> every morning. <laughs> but it's fine. Mm. Life goes on. Life yeah, goes we want to see is that scale every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's what yeah. get you out of bed. Yeah, it's pretty depressing, man. Yeah, it's going to be all right. You already dropped two pounds. Come on. I know, but uh, every, everyone who tries to lose weight yeah. feels the same way that I probably do right now. Uh -huh. You feel very motivated. You feel yeah. great the first yeah, couple yeah, yeah. of days. Yeah. Then you're like, all right, like things are moving. Yeah, 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 I feel great, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then now it's like, now the game starts. <laughs> like the whole time you were just tying your shoelaces. The race didn't know, even start yet. But yeah. I will say this weekend, mm -hmm. we get cheat days. Yeah, I, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest to like keep it to a mi minimum. Well, that's the wrong way to do it, man. Wrong way to do it. That's you think you just go for it? That's the wrong way. Yeah, to do but it. then what if we come back Monday morning and and we're still weighing on Saturday and Sundays? So. Well, no, you're, you're not supposed to because you can't possibly yeah. be getting if you do fasting throughout the day right. and you have a giant meal at night. Right. There's only a limited amount you can eat, anyways. So you almost guarantee a caloric deficit, right? True. And you will guarantee to lose weight. Now. I would still suggest do a little bit of you know strength training or whatever just to protect the muscle, but you're right. almost guaranteed to lose weight. Right. Even if you eat a good amount of fried, I'm not saying to eat fried chicken, right? Oh, I was going. Oh, that's what exactly what I wanted to eat this weekend. <laughs> 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 so you kind of threw a wrench in my plans, but well, I'm not saying a bunch of fried chicken. All right, fair. Yeah, fair. yeah. So, yeah. Um, and also fried chicken. I mean, at I, least it's chicken. I, yeah, at least it's chicken. Fried pork is probably the worst thing you could. Really. You think I, so? I think you're deep frying the fattiest. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't think it's deep good. frying pork belly. Yeah. How that's about probably, that? that's How about probably that? that's yeah. probably one of the worst things you can eat. Braised or sous vide. Yeah. Maybe oak. Still not great, but yeah. 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 But pork also, belly. Yeah. What I do is just I just stir fry it. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you play with claw. What 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 the hell you play with last night? Uh, Claude. Uh, so Yourself. That's an okay. Anthropics. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, it's so. Anthropic, okay. who? So Anthropic is a company behind uh, another model similar to ChatGPT. Okay. I'm not, not an expert, but I've yeah. uh, just been hearing a lot about it through okay. a lot of feeds, and yeah. people were just saying this it's better. This rendition or you know version of Cloud that that was released two weeks ago and supposedly outperforms on every you know as wow. as, as Anthropic states on their website obviously but you know Chesh uh, before yeah outperforms a lot of the metrics so uh, piqued my interest and then so yesterday I was playing around with it a lot uh, I do have a chat GPT 4 uh, yeah. subscription so yeah. I have like the pro version I yeah. use it every day yeah. but I tried Claude yesterday night yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say the writing prose is a lot more natural if okay. you, and I, I don't right, like yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, how yeah, what information they're putting in there but for someone who is in Silicon Valley, yeah, it feels very nat. It feels more of a natural person that I'm talking to compared to GPT. Interesting. Which could be, bi you know, like like I don't know what kind of biases hmm. there are there, but I asked it to yeah. sample tweet threads. Yeah. I fed it the Reddit S1 perspective. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. To just understand uh, file capacity, but. Oh. But it was it still gave me some pretty good just like hey like but be mindful as you read through the perspectives I can't because the file wasn't in a version that it could read and it was too big the S one's like two hundred ninety pages but it basically said um, this is what I would suggest for you to look at look at this section it typically has all these metrics look at the you know the five year history and like it had like recommendations that I was that I would honestly say is almost the same thing like even if you were doing an analysis or like writing a memo internally to you know, as a freaking VC associate or whoever, 
you could just pump these out. I, it feels like that to me. And wow. I asked for comps. They couldn't do that. But I ended up going down a rabbit hole. Yeah. And there's a couple companies that do comps. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Via I've heard, I've yeah. heard of them. Yeah. yeah. So I was looking at those, and I was like, this is super interesting. But uh, all that being said, very much more natural. Yeah. Um, I think it is the best way to get a head start on anything anything text related so if okay. you're if you're kind of stuck writer's yeah. block on yeah, you yeah. know a text thread or yeah, a yeah, tweet yeah. thread or whatever yeah i think it's probably better but this is better than ChatGPT because i've been using yeah. ChatGPT for also yeah um man, that's some coffee cheers. My, my god i need this yeah <laughs> cheers same, same. <laughs> oh. oh just that <laughs> the first, yeah. today it's is like better hit of, life yeah. is better life yeah is life, better life got this. better all of a sudden so who who is the team behind it? Anthropic. I, I wish I could tell you. Uh, I am that surface level. <laughs> but, but the product is great. <laughs> the product's great. The product's great. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, they've been building it for quite a bit. I think they do. Yeah, there uh, there are a couple models in. So they have a they have a haiku. They uh -huh. have sonnet, yeah. and then they have opus. Uh -huh. Op I believe the opus is their pro version, and then. Each one specializes yeah. in sp little different verticals, uh -huh. technically, but I believe the one that Sonnet is the natural free one, and I think they say that's the in-between cross uh, between. I guess. Cloud like, is uh, so premium. you got to pay for it. Well, no, no. Uh, yeah. Cloud is free. So oh, okay. the version uh, Sonnet, I believe, is free. And then mm. I think, I don't know if Haiku is also free, mm. but Opus is definitely the one that costs mm. money, and that's the equivalent of ChatGPT4. So mm. that's like... Uh, Supposedly, you know, like GPT-4, they said, like, it can live browse and it can do all these, yeah. you know, things. Mm. But when I throw in, like, an SCC link, for yeah. example, I threw that in. I was like, oh, like, can you go and read the HTM file? And, and, yeah. and they're like, we can't read this file. Because, like, you have to actually layer, I guess, a text reader, like, an OCR tech on top uh -huh. to actually read the text and read graphics and, like, charts and all that. It was like, oh, it's, like, not a text file, so I can't read it. Uh, Interesting. It disappointed me a little bit. Did uh, you? But you did the same thing with and uh, Anthropic, cloud. It, 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 it read the whole thing. No, there was it was file was capacity, but it, it gave me recommendations regardless. So it was interesting. I think. Interesting. Yeah, I think they're both good. Uh, I mean, regardless, they're both like enablers for sure. Yeah. But I mean, how big like, can a PDF be? That one. Oh, uh, the S one's up. 170,000 kilobytes. So what is that, 17 men? 1,000 1, kilobytes? No. No, 171,000 kilo, kilobits. Is what oh, 100 it. meg. Yeah, it was, it was huge. 100,000. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah that's 100, yeah. 170 meg. Yeah, that, that's like 100 yeah. meg. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the file limit's like 10. Yeah. It's oh, 290 it's pages of like high, high graphic quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I think the only way to do it is honestly like Piece chop, meal. chop, chop, yeah, chop the, literally yeah, the piecemeal best by like 25 pages and yeah. then throw it in there and then maybe it can do it. But I, I was too lazy to do that. Interesting, <laughs> but, interesting. Yeah, I, I think there is a way to do it. Uh, mm. But yeah, uh, I, I would be interested in throwing that in there uh, just to see. And it, it'll never recommend like purchase of stock, yeah. for example. Because yeah. I did ask, I was like, yeah. knowing what you know, <laughs> and like, yeah. whatever, I was like, would you consider this like aggressively yeah. priced against the comparable companies yeah, and like yeah, and like who do yeah. you find are you know et cetera, et cetera. and it was like i cannot make like you know recommendations on like purchase and yeah i was like oh, that's fair but yeah. disappointing but fair yeah no it's, it's yeah. good tech i think i'm going to start using it more for okay. especially uh content and yeah like, yeah, you know, yeah. Tweets, and, yeah yeah like story generating um yeah. i find it actually really helpful yeah. i use chatgpt4 to review my tweets Mm -hmm. And so all I do is yeah. I f we'll finish a tweet and then we'll yeah. put it in there, and then um, I will ask ChatGPT mm -hmm. uh, if you want to make this smarter, sound <laughs> smarter. Like, right. how would you do it? And yeah. then spot, spit out a response. Usually, the majority of it, yeah, um, are not good. Right. Yeah, the majority <laughs> of it are not good because yeah. I, I think ChatGPT has a certain tone when you ask them to be professional right. or smart yeah, or eloquent yeah. it, it it just lose the natural right, right. It, it doesn't feel like a person is speaking that right it doesn't feel like some re regular person yeah it's robotic yeah, yeah. it's very robotic so yeah. uh, i will pick a little bit and then just put it in the tweets and then just put it out right so right. usually that's what i do and um interesting you mentioned reddit though what do you think the ipo yesterday it's interesting i mean they're yeah. up like 48 50 almost 50 percent yeah, um, yeah, yeah. on first day uh i you know, I didn't read too much into this, yeah. to be honest, but 
my surface level understanding yeah. is that they are probably positioning themselves as <sighs> let's sell a lot of our information as like yeah. an add-on to your large language model or yeah, like yeah, i yeah. guess essentially the way i interpreted it yeah. was like there's so many different subreddits with yeah. so much text and just information mm -hmm. that's just sitting there mm -hmm. instead of someone scraping all that mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. um or there might be private subreddits, mm -hmm. et cetera. Mm -hmm. Reddit can be like, hey, like we have this yeah. whole database yeah, yeah, yeah. here, and then you can run a bunch of money. Like this yeah. is how society is. They yeah, yeah, yeah. like, sell that to yeah, yeah. corporates. Uh, of course. You know, so yeah, I mean, essentially, I guess how to apply that. I don't know. There's probably a very big automotive yeah. subreddit, right? Yeah, 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 On Reddit is like yeah, yeah, yeah. cars specifically, uh, yeah. Ford cars yeah. or Tesla, for example. Yeah, yeah. And they could be like, here, Tesla, we're gonna sell it sell you all the data in this subreddit yeah. and then you can use that to figure out what yeah. common problems are with yeah. your cars and yeah. like but you know yeah i imagine that's what they're going for it, it's pretty but, incredible I, yeah. I think well I, I do have my doubts about that whole thing um i do mm -hmm. think it's a really lucrative opportunity mm -hmm. but i do think that they f just put this as such an emphasis in their whole story mm -hmm. and um and I do think the stock market uh, reflects that accordingly, given mm -hmm. how high the stock was priced and also how right, right. Um, much it climbed on the first day. Right. Everybody was hype about it. Yeah. One of the biggest uh, tech IPO that has happened after the I mean, you know, yeah. 2021, 2022 right. Right. era. So I think um, that's pretty interesting. They're, they, they <laughs> so I was, uh, I was able to look at their um, some of their material that they put on the road show yeah. uh, for public investors. Right. It's, they put this almost at the cornerstone as their growth, mm, right? When they talk about growth, there's all the, you know, old, like, okay, yeah. we're going to grow the platform, grow the users, blah, blah, blah. But, hey, we have this thing. This thing is great. Right. You should really care about this thing, right. which is, okay, we have this treasure trove data that nobody else has, which I do agree with, right? right, right. It's very unique. It's all UGC. It's all right. user generated. Every day it's being populated. Right. Um, I, I think, you know, in terms of unique data sources in the world, there's YouTube. Right. Which, in my opinion, is the crown jewel. Right. It's the absolute crown jewel. Yeah. Like, who I, owns that? I agree. And Reddit, I think it may be the close second. Mm. Okay, maybe not that close, but they're, right. they're maybe at the second place. Right. Um, and it, it, because people actually care about what they have to say on Reddit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. People actually care really much about what they have to right. say, and they share information that they, it's the biggest forum of, forum of, the, of them all for any... Right. single community that you can possibly think right, of. Right, right. And um, I think you can pretty much get a good pulse on um, Just that, human yeah, <laughs> that part of the community, right? Right, right. And um, right. yeah, I think uh, obviously Meta, they're not going to um, you know, give out their information for free yeah. on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, X is not going to give their information for free on X. Right. But Red is in a unique position to actually sell this data. So what they right. do is, obviously, they license it. Right. To big parties, LLMs, you know, I think Google struck a deal, right, with these mm -hmm. guys, or with OpenAI. Uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars, right. uh, sometimes close to hundreds of million. Mm, yeah. I think they have 200 million of contract revenue so far. Mm. And this year, they're going to book uh, 60 of them. So roughly, if you calculate that, that's like a three-year term on average. Yeah. Right? My only thing about this whole thing is, my only issue, right. um, how sustainable is this? Exa exactly, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, how sustainable is this? Because like, if the whole the whole value prop to yeah. them is like, hey, we're gonna sell you this whole downloadable data set, but mm -hmm. not only that, but real-time data as yeah. users keep engaging with our form. Yeah. So it's almost like their core metric has to be user keep going. retention. Yeah. yeah, like so like user retention and yeah. growth, right? Yeah. Because it, the data stems from them, obviously. Exactly. So how, I mean, if 100, let's just throw out yeah. whatever, 100 million people use Reddit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if that's dwindling to 10% yeah, yeah, yeah. churn every yeah. year, I mean, like, the data set gets worse. And it gets like, worse, so yeah, yeah and like, exactly. But, like, yeah, you're a hot company for three years, which is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. It gives them less time for them to, you know, yeah, yeah. take some chips off and yeah. go enjoy life and yeah. enjoy the beach, so. Yeah, and also the interesting <laughs> thing is, yeah. you know, I benchmarked this against um, uh, ChatGPT 3.5 versus 4. Mm. 3.5 stops at 2021, right? right? Right. And it's still good enough for a lot of people to use it. Right. That's right. my argument for training on Reddit data. Right. You right. license already everything that you have. I think right. it already shows you what the behavior of the 
you know, users majority, are right, majority, right? Eighty percent, ninety percent. Of right. course, you know, the content is going to grow every single year. Of course, right? yeah. and maybe your platform gets better, but is this still going to be as valuable in three years after Google has already trained this data on the majority right. of your data to continue right. to renew this for another three years? No, right. I don't think so. Even if you do renew, it's probably at a much lower cost. Right. right? Fundamentally, right. I think it, it is pretty different from other. You know, I work. I'm pretty exposed to the gaming industry. Right. right? People yeah. license IP and whatever. Right. Those IP holders, Lord of the Ring, those IP holders, Pokemon of the world, mm -hmm. they can license that IP whenever the freak they want, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they can license it for as long as they want. Yeah, because that's. I mean, <laughs> that's brand. No, that's I mean, yeah. evergreen. Right? Yeah, and, truly. And if you want to continue to tap into the value of that IP, mm -hmm. you better freaking renew it, or right. you're not allowed to use it. Right. right. So I think training data is a little bit different from, mm. I think, traditional movie licenses or, mm. um, you know, major, you know, IPs right. in, the, in the entertainment world. Right. Um, so fundamentally, I uh, have to Reddit whether they can keep growing the user base right. and also. Maintaining the you know retention or some other source of uh, you know way to to, 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 to boost the rich richness of the data. Right, right. Or I don't even know what adjacent offerings you can do with yeah just data. Yeah. Um, who knows? But I mean, good for them though. I mean, still this no, is I mean, a yeah, completely a new yeah. vertical. Yeah. That they just found out of right, nowhere. Right. right. Traditionally. They wouldn't have that two million, two million, two hundred million revenue in the first place. Right now they have it, and they're probably gonna get some more. But it just the question is about how you know sustainable is that. Right, it's almost like a new business within a business, yeah. and it's like how how well are they gonna? You know, they piloted well with some yeah, yeah, yeah. you know marquee clients yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. But yeah. let's see how it does over the next couple of years. Because that's also get into the problem of inter enterprise right. sales. Right, right. Traditionally, exactly. they're just operating a platform. <coughs> right, like, they right. don't have to you know figure out any sales function. Yeah, that's a very hard sales. Yeah. yeah, now you yeah. have to build up an entire team. Right, right, right. and right. Um, try to go out there. I mean, sure, you know they can talk to Tesla and then probably, but you, first you got to start talking to Tesla. So yeah. <laughs> build that relationship. That's gonna take years. Yeah, right. so yeah. I think I think it's not that easy. It's not that yeah. easy, but um, it's certainly a you know fascinating story. It seems like they're doing well in the stock market, so good for them. Yeah, yeah, no, awesome job for them. Yeah, uh, I came across. Uh, you know Alexis Ohanian, the you know OG co-founder of Reddit, who, yeah. who kind of came out and like did mm -hmm. his own thing, married to Serena Williams, initialized Wait, capital. Yeah. You know, all right. So he's. Oh. Okay. Uh, he, so he was. Um, he was like the OG, one of oh, the uh, like original founders, yeah. right? And then uh, came out, and then he he worked at Initialized Capital, which is a venture fund. Yeah, uh, yeah. They did a lot of deals with YC. I worked yeah. at you know Zeus, yeah, uh, yeah. etc. Uh, that's where I first met for the first time he mm. came to speak at a, like an event okay. he's married to serena williams no, you know one of the Still? greatest great yeah greatest one of the greatest ever in the female tennis you know world and oh yeah yeah oh, yeah so so oh, it was funny. that guy he yeah. tweeted yesterday oh. initialized capital tweeted out like a congrats to reddit and like founders but left him out because he's also not a part of initialize anymore who he helped start their fund and everything, yeah. and he started his own fund now. I think seven seven six is like a kind of sure. yeah whatever. But yeah, in the base, and he called him out on it on Twitter, and he was like, he's like, he's like, that's petty even for you all. And then like tagged three of the uh, managing partners at the fund, and then Gar and tagged Gary Tan too, because Gary Tan I think is still affiliated with oh, Initial. Okay. Like, but Gary Tan tweeted um, saying like, congrats to Alexis, whatever. And then even under that, Alexis. Uh, in the thread, it was like, "Hey, any ch like, thanks, man. Like, any chance you know what happened here? Link to that thread from Initialized that left him out uh -huh. on the congratulations." And what, what did Gary Tan say? Uh, I, I didn't see a response yet. But oh, okay. I was just, I don't know. It's just funny. <laughs> like, so, so, yeah. so, so, Initialized yeah. Capital tweeted and like, "Congrats to Reddit, Reddit, and like team member, you know." Oh, at individual team, but, yeah. but didn't add him. Well, it was at, and then there was a comma, and then and team. And then someone in the comments was like, "Was like that's a tell because that means there was a comma and mm. they probably had at Alexis comma but deleted that but didn't delete the comma because it, it should have just been at uh -huh. and team uh -huh. but there was a comma right after the at the current um, uh, founder so uh, I don't know it was, it was just like a funny thing to see but that's but, funny oh uh, wow yeah, does whatever. it have a good bad rap 
I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I don't know much of the story behind it, but yeah. I just thought it was interesting to see how, like, honestly, I kind of side with yeah. Alexis on this. Yeah, I think, I mean, like, just give credit, especially with all that history. Like, even yeah, if you yeah. ended on yeah. bad, bad terms, terms yeah. like, like, dude, like, it's fine. Yeah. But, like, the other argument that Alexis was saying was, like, when they mention initialize and they need like good PR, they'll name drop Alexis like as a ex, you know. Like, uh, so it's like you can't have it both ways. It's, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah, my yeah, argument. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna use him for the benefit, then like yeah. you know, give him praise for. Yeah, he yeah. was a key part of the start of this thing. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and like I, I'm not, you know, it's like I I met him briefly once at a talk, and like I, I don't know him personally, yeah. but I think, just objectively speaking, I think you know. Uh, the that, fun, that, the fun that, could at least just add. I mean, it's not that's a big so deal. That's so interesting. I, yeah. I do think that it takes a special, even if it, mm-hmm. you know, it didn't oh. happen. It's kind of petty, right? If the like, relationship didn't go that well, um, you yeah. can still be a big, per, bigger person. Right, uh, exactly. You know, t- t- I don't know, like three, four, five years, mm-hmm. uh, ten years down the road. Um, I was reading um, uh, Elon's uh, auto uh, yeah, okay. biography. and. Yeah. Um, you know the whole PayPal situation. Sure. He got yeah. ousted by you know that whole gang, and then <clears throat> David Sachs, right now is a really good confidant, I think, of mm-hmm. Elon, and mm-hmm. I think I think they work together on Twitter thing, and then work. but David Sachs is one of the people that worked with Teeter Teal, and then you know they yeah. to get him out, right? And then who invested in SpaceX when they needed money? Peter Teal, Founders mm-hmm. Fund. So I, I think you. You know, was a bigger person, big person to be able to get over that. I think. Um, I don't even know if he caught. I just feel like he just doesn't care. No, he 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 ho- mean, he held uh, I mean, grudges at, right, at, right. for a long time. Right, but over time, I feel like as yeah. I don't know how much of it is like being a bigger person as yeah. like you just know, uh-huh. like you're. I mean, to use, like, he, he knows he's him, <laughs> basically. Like, like he's like, it doesn't gotcha. matter. Like, gotcha. like, he's like, he's like he, do, he might still have the grudge, but, like, he's still just, he was like, ah, eh, but I put the needs of my company and my whatever over that for now. Yeah. Who knows, 10, 20 years, he comes out with, like, he's like, so now I'm going to be petty. <laughs> like, now, like, <laughs> like you, you, don't, you don't know. I mean. Honestly, like, judging by how he talked to talk about short investors how he talk about um you know people he doesn't like <laughs> bob Iger. exactly that, that's what i'm thinking but, but like he'll uh, say things just yeah. like he just speaks his mind yeah but then i don't think he cares that much about yeah, it like yeah, yeah. like he'll be like yeah like i hated what they did like that sucked yeah. but he's just like he's like okay yeah. and then just yeah. a blip in the past now. yeah like he's very indifferent like no i don't know if indifference right but I, he gets over shit quick like that's how i think but I think he doesn't get over shit that easily. Okay, you think he's just storing it? Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yeah. a knurling somewhere with the whole heart. Like. A part of me <laughs> thinks that he's actually okay. Some some people may not love this analogy, right. but I'm gonna back it up. Mm. Some part of me, I think he is the type of person that is similar to Trump in the sense that <laughs> you're like, hold that thought. Yeah. Don't put <laughs> in the sense that yeah. um, you figure out who your friends and enemy are real quick mm. and then you go to war with your enemy mm. and then all your friends are your bodies yeah, okay. Interesting. okay so all the hate i think they both have a lot of haters out there uh, yeah clearly <laughs> a lot of haters out there yeah. and they hate the haters yeah and they love their friends yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think so I, th- I think that's that's what in comparison to maybe someone else who tend to manage relationship fairly well mm-hmm. or try to be friends with everyone mm-hmm. or um, try to keep a cordial relationship even with it's people exhausting, who... man. <laughs> but that's, I think, most of the society, though. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the world is filled with a lot of people pleasers. They want to agree, yeah. agree with everything. Yeah. They don't like to... I don't know. Uh, I think they, they fear being... Which is... Yeah. Fair, I yeah, think yeah. biologically is yeah. a thing, right? I mean, you want to be a part of the pack. Yeah. You, if you're differentiated, it could literally mean survival, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. survival instincts yeah. um, at the core. So I don't blame them. But, I I know. heard about a board call yesterday um, from yeah. one person that I was talking with, and yeah. then he was right, very check, frustrated. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, he yeah. was very frustrated yeah. by how the board call was constructed and how many yes man 
they were to the founders. <laughs> right, right. Even though it was a board call. Right. Everybody was a yes man. Right? Yeah, that's and not good. It, uh, I, and I think that's probably what happens f for maybe Elon or for Trump. Mm. Right? There are a lot of noises out there that hate them. Mm -hmm. But maybe they're just really well insulated from all of that because right. everybody around, can you imagine everybody around Elon? Oh, yeah. Who dare say that he doesn't know what he's doing? Right. And, and if they do, they know they have to back it up. Right. Yeah. You got to back it up yeah. with hardcore good yeah. information. Yeah. yeah. It's more that. I think generally people at the root of it are maybe too lazy to yeah. do the underlying work to support yeah. their contrarian view. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not even contrarian. It, it's probably right. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that's, that's probably something you see a lot in. Mm -hmm. I mean, the founder ecosystem is just crazy, though. Yeah. I mean, the type of advice they get. Yeah. And, like, there's so many variables involved, yeah. but everything from, you know, did your investor even start a company before? Yeah. Did uh, I don't know if you and I, I think we are aligned on this, but yeah. I don't know if we would ever take that type of role yeah. without having yeah. a successful exit or, you know, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. a successful growth of a yeah. company. Because... It's almost, you know, I, I would dare say it's hypocritical. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, not even hypocritical. You just don't have the chops to back it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how can you advise someone to grow their company when yeah. you've never done it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. I mean, yeah. like, yeah, you, you know you know the right things to say yeah. and what to do, but you you just can't relate. Yeah, no. I, I feel like there's a, such a different level of relatability. Such a different I mean, level. Yeah, you're like, no, like, I've been in those dark times and, like, yeah you will push through and yeah. like there will be light yeah, yeah, versus yeah. like you know oh it like, sucks it, i don't know what it, it is yeah. like, it's like oh like oh yeah like i totally know like that, it must suck like yeah it's, it's tough right now but bro like keep going like like that's so different from someone who's like i've been there man like yeah push like you're, you're fine but you know hopefully we're gonna get there with <laughs> over the next you know decade but yeah man i think it's interesting founders get a lot of unique advice i've yeah. been in some very interesting conversations where we're told to do things that I'm just yeah. sitting there like, what the fuck are you saying? Like <laughs> legitimately, like, like if it was my company, I, yeah. I absolutely would have just been like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Like you have no idea what you're, but like, I think a lot of people also get a little, you know, timid yeah. around the boardroom too. Yeah. Both sides. Right. Like it goes both ways. Like yeah. I've seen founders get timid. I've yeah. seen, the investor side get timid too. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, like, it yeah. just depends on who has, yeah. I don't know, more energy. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know what it is. but I have so much respect for people who start their own thing now, even though maybe not all of them are making it work. Yeah, um, I mean, statistically 99% of them don't. Yeah, right? yeah, but I think for people who are willing to make that jump, um, I, think, I, I, think of, I think the majority of the world are not Zuckerberg of, you know, yeah. like that they don't care about risk or the part of their brain that just, right. you know, calibrated a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to drop out of Harvard. I'm going to move to Silicon Valley. I'm going to start this thing. Of course, it's going to work. Yeah. Sort of thing, right? I'm right. going to chase that big fat dream. Yeah. I, I, th I, think, I think for the majority of the world that the majority of entrepreneurs that go out and start something, they are making a certain level of sacrifice and they are chasing something. They are... Um, giving up something to be able to pursue this journey and I th just think that the sheer will to make that decision in the first place is so deserves so much respect mm -hmm. um, in the first place and I think their struggle um, are real struggles too so I, I you know I, I this is a newfound appreciation after you know we started to do things like this yeah, right. It was um, tough. Yeah. Just start grinding on the side project, whatever, like sweaters, shit like this, and yeah, man, it's uh, it's 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 a very interesting journey. It is. It is. Um, I think it's supposed to be. I think now with the proliferation of mm. so many just channels and like, yeah. it feels like every day we see yeah. a new lifestyle business doing fifty to a hundred million. You know, yeah. like valuation is yeah. like crap and i think yeah. that's what's so enticing because all these people are very transparent on social media etc yeah. and there's so much more relatable because they're like hey yeah. like i was a i was a software engineer yeah. or i was a ux designer here yeah, i was yeah. an analyst here yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like dude if they can before it was kind of like zuck yeah. elon yeah. you know 
Spiegel with Snapchat. Like, yeah. these, like, young, like, high yeah. power. You're like, okay, you're like, I can't relate. Yeah. Harvard dropped out. Stanford dropped yeah. out. Penn dropped out. Whatever. Yeah. And you're like, okay. But now you're like, random state yeah. school kid yeah. did five years yeah, at, yeah, yeah. at random tech company now makes 10 million a year yeah why can't i you know like it's, i think there's something there uh yeah and i it's a special thing um how how do you think about the next step for now we have the website ready right um, should we figure out put it on product hunt or how I, do, do, do we do we start sending emails yeah. um in terms of go to market uh i have some thoughts but want to hear what you think yeah i do too um I think, I think you start with email or you know the typical outbound. Yeah, but yeah. we both know the conversion rate's very low there. Mm -hmm. I I speculate that we just have some good copy and um, some good marketing materials basically, and yeah. then we can use the free meta ad credit that we have. Yeah. Just throw that out there. Yeah. See how they convert. Even yeah. if we get one out yeah. of the next two months, yeah. I think that's. The effort required to do that is very minimal, yeah. and the credits are free. So yeah. I, I would say that would be my number one. Number two, I would say product hunt, but it's very similar to Kickstarter, where I think we didn't have, we did a successful launch, but we didn't have enough credibility on the platform itself mm. versus product hunt, product hunt. I think they value ongoing community like how many times you log in like they track a lot of that stuff interesting where like they're like oh like this user is actually like engaged with a lot of projects and writes comments leaves yeah. notes and like feedback and yeah it's a very like tight-knit community is what i see yeah so that's why you see these no offense kind of <laughs> shitty products yeah that can reach top five uh, and you're like uh, you're like dude this doesn't even work or like yeah. you're like what the hell but yeah. but the you look at the history of the of the founder and they're so engaged with every other product and they're making friends online. It's, it's almost like a social media following. And like, if you do that right, I think you have a very high chance of becoming like a top product. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. I think yeah. for me, if I had to focus on two, it's ad, ad, ad spend and yeah. then, uh, which is not typical for us, but yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. given our position, I would yeah. say, yeah, ad spend and uh, product time. Okay. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with you. I was thinking basically the same thing. Yeah. I think um, we need, I don't know about you. I've never been a big like forum guy or online community guy or like yeah. online chat guy. Um, but after we started the X account and then started posting thoughts and tweets and realized, you know, it's almost like that one part of my brain just got reactivated and, mm. and, and, and I find it super fascinating. I think we just need to be very conscious about what platform we need to start becoming very active on about right I product agree. hunt is one of them right. i think reddit is another one i think certain facebook group or discord group i don't know what it is that has a lot of founders or entrepreneurship about entrepreneurship right, right. that's another one and also product hunt right, right? i think uh, an x so i think all of these things we just need to be um start to get more active let's right. just say set a goal for ourselves let's say product hunt we put one comment a day right. or like a few comment a day or just, yeah. we just browse like 30 minutes a day right um I think we, we need to go out and find those Facebook group and yeah. um, uh, that are tailored to uh, founders or uh, right. uh, entrepreneurs, let's say in the Bay Area community or et right. cetera, et cetera, and then just start making, start putting out a presence. Right. Go back to our Web3 days, right? right. How do you become a loyal member i were like an engaged member in the right. i don't know what the whatever, what the, project, whatever right. the project was what was it um some of the uh, some of those like Moonberg, big name proof and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, exactly like exactly the, yeah. you need to become that level to be able to get certain level of credibility and then product town as well if all we need to do well if what they look at is cred and we don't yet have it or engagement right. Um, on the platform, yeah. like just slowly building it out. It's the same yeah. same thing as I think X, yeah. like our X account. If we can nail, let's just say, spend you know an hour, an hour and a half every day, just make sure that we establish a little bit of presence on all of these things. Yeah. Um, I think with time that will grow. And the only reason I mentioned that is because that is the thing that Design Droid does. Right. right. He doesn't send outbound email. Right. Yeah. He doesn't send cold email. And when yeah. there's one episode that he was talking about how um, he get customers. He was saying, yeah, these groups, Facebook group, product hunt, and et cetera, et cetera. Right. And that requires a certain level of engagement, I think. Yeah. Um, I think that's what I would try to start doing. Um, 
it's right. it's it's be a little bit more conscious um, just give out free you know information and advice and etc um, right and then Facebook group Facebook uh, marketing I definitely agree with you uh, let's just see how it does and then um, I think on the side I will try to see if I can establish some sort of relationship with certain VCs and right. um, and, and and you know uh, hopefully get some recommend because you know if you're a startup and you need help with something who do you call right. usually you call your VC and get yeah. some recommendations and your VC hopefully will be able to recommend you to you know right, um, right. and if anything that I learned uh, from that dinner uh, or drinks with the uh, mm -hmm. that president of that company I was talking about he was saying yeah every company needs you know, fractions to the CFO, and none right. of them want to hire one because it's too expensive. <laughs> so they need a good one outsource, you know. So I think right. that's something that we should um, uh, we should do. I'll try to tap into a couple of, you know, at least once in the gaming industry. Right. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think after all of that is emails and all the traditional marketing uh, right. channels. Yeah, I, I think a good place to also start for highly qual maybe after we refine the pitch a little bit more but the yc just going back you know like two or three cohorts mm -hmm. those are the ones who are raising their a mm -hmm. now and like they're probably in the sweet spot i would actually say two to three years ago yeah if we email blast those cohorts we probably have a very high chance of yeah. at least customer profile wise they're exactly who we need to talk to yeah. um and the ones who don't make it, you know, you know they'll bounce because their company's closed, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But out of the ones who are still around, okay, like, dude, like you, you just read a Series A, okay. and like we see. And the other thing, um, sorry, last thought was the head of finance. If you just look at the job, question, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, exactly, just, yeah. exactly. So that, that's another route. Yeah, strategic finance or yeah, you know, CFO or yeah, that's another one. If you just see that post, just reach out to the CEO, be like, hey, like yeah. we can off roll trial basis, but yeah, it would cost nothing. I mean, yeah. And any any smart CEO would, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I think a lot of them would bet on that. So, yeah, yeah there's that. Cool. Okay. Uh, I think we're oh, doing on time. Yeah. yeah, we are good. Uh, Pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> all right. I think I think uh, that's uh, that's a good next steps. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, like always, have a good weekend. But we will see you tomorrow. Yeah. As well, because we'll like and subscribe. Yeah. Work if you're still time. here, probably not. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. <laughs> Journey continues. <laughs>